special effects makeup with Alimax SFX. This tutorial requires beginner skills. It takes no time to prep and about 30 to 40 minutes to apply. We spent a little bit of money on that black wig, which is actually for our next tutorial, so it's kind of an investment. And if you want to go as the Red Riding Hood with a wolf, check out our werewolf tutorial. Right, let's get that falsy out of there. We don't need that. What we do need, however, is that surgical tape again to cover up our eye and protect it from the rest of the makeup. So, cover it up and bring out some cotton because we're going to make a messed up eye there. Just the thought of an eye, sort of. Just a little rough bulge. It's going to be all messy and bloody anyway, but it could be your damaged eye and a little extra piece there for some flesh. Look at that, awesome! To make this construction hold together a little bit better, we are gonna apply liquid latex to it and it also helps us to attach those other pieces that are coming. So a layer here first of liquid latex. That's gonna make our busted eye hold together very well with the rest of that tape and cotton. And another layer and then speed to dry it again. So two layers of latex on there. Looking good, looking good. Now things are going to be much easier to attach to it. But first, let's create another wound just like it on our neck. Now this is going to be turned into brutal claw marks from a wolf. A bit of yarn thrown in there. We're going to add yarn later, so let's keep it there. Yup, speed drying again. Then we use toilet paper or tissues, if you have that, to create some flappy skin pieces along the edge of our wounds. So we apply that paper, again we also coat that with additional latex. So, so on the edge of all these claw marks we go in with that paper piece. It doesn't have to be fancy, it's gonna be like skin flappy pieces anyway, so it's gonna look awesome. We coat that paper with additional latex and then we repeat that process on the wound on our neck as well. A flesh wound on my neck in Swedish is a schützel på min hals. Then we need to match up this with our skin. So we're gonna use a foundation here. Actually two different colors of that foundation. Just dripping that on. And if you don't have a liquid foundation like this, not to worry, use whatever you got. And since the surface of the latex is a bit different from your skin, when you apply this foundation, it might not match up the way it usually does on your skin. Now we're just going in here to fix up an edge there close to the nose. Did look too rough, so there we go. Make that look better, then break out the yarn and tear it up. This is going to be nice fleshy fibers in our little wound. Attach that yarn using liquid latex and you can of course put it anywhere you want to give it that fleshy look. It's gonna be perfect. Put it there on the neck wound. Yep. Maybe twist it around and just get it in place. Next step, paint job time. We start off with red, whatever red color you have that you feel you are comfortable using. And now we are actually drawing out these claw marks. They go straight through our wounds, of course, where we have created nice little holes for them. And of course, these marks extend out from the actual wounds we have created there to make them look and appear longer. There we go. Same thing on the neck wound. Brutal claw marks. All right, let's create that bruised skin around the wounds using a brown tone. We are gonna switch that and mix in a purple tone as well, just so you know. Beginning with the brown tone, close to the edges there. Since this is a typical bloody look, it doesn't have to be super fancy, but it needs to be there though to give that wound and the whole look the depth it needs. Before we continue with the purple, let's throw on that wig. This looks like a project with a sock on the head. And there is the wig. Looking all fabulous. Well, soon enough it does with a little grooming. 
And that shout goes to PolySFX for those amazing creations. Just go check them out. There is really everything there, from skeletons to monsters to madness. And the purple colors I talked about before, there they are, and we continue with the bruising. Again, going in close to the edge with those purple tones, and this time we also spread them out a bit from the actual wound, just like that, making our skin appear bruised. With that in place, we switch our attention to the fake blood, and this time we're gonna need some uh, semi-clotted blood, or whatever blood you have, actually. And we begin with that dark, dark, dark blood, middle of the wound, right there in the center of it. And then we're gonna switch to a more runny blood, which is a bit lighter. We're gonna go with that, let that drip down from the wounds and the dark shade of the blood will make the wound look really deep. Switching to the lighter and more runny blood, we apply that gently there on the edges. Just let it run wherever we feel like. You can go bananas with the blood or you can take a little we actually go pretty bananas here. Looks really gruesome. And we also add a little dash of it there under the other eye. A little spatter. Doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> there you go. Swoosh on that hoodie. Any kind of red fabric you have. This is from our uh, Sylvanas Windrunner actually. So we recycle that and turn it into the little red riding hood. If you like this tutorial, tell us in the comments, and if you hated it, do that as well. Don't forget to check out the werewolf tutorial with that hot dude, because that's a perfect combination if you and a friend are going to a Halloween party or a costume party together. One is the wolf, one is the little red riding hood. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.